All right, Pilot Pig, I'm gonna help you get out of here, all right? No, don't hit go. I'll fall down. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. <laughs> See you, dude. What? Peace. You're leaving me? No, Jimmy, help. Get, get back here. Ugh. Hey, what's going on, Switchers? It's Chimisaf here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. This mod is called the Archimedes Ships mod, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create some awesome airships and some really cool looking boats that are functional and go really, really fast within Minecraft. All right, so as you may have noticed behind me, I have this lovely looking, very basic, very gross looking, actually, airship. And as you can see here, we have a new block that's right here, and uh, this is called the ship marker. This thing right here is called the measurement gauges. And this thing right here is called a spider, and I wanna kill him because he makes annoying noises. Right here we have some blocks called floaters, and I'll explain those in a minute. And then up here we have these blocks that look a lot like wool, but in fact they are actually air balloons. So I'm gonna show you guys how to craft all these different things, and what each of them does, and I'll show you how to use this airship, as well as this boat that I have crafted here. So, let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna be looking at is the ship marker, and the ship marker is created using oak wood planks, sticks, Iron and iron ingots and basically what this is gonna allow you to do is this ship marker is sort of the central point of your boat Or of your ship you can't move your ship or your object around without a ship marker So as you can see over here on the airship um, This guy is anchored to this uh, to these floater blocks, which is anchored to everything else So everything that pretty much touches this that you've created uh, within I think you can only do about a th uh, 2048 blocks uh, of building will move and I'll show you guys this here if you right-click and then you can start to move around and it moves the whole unit as it's uh, as a whole because I have the uh, air balloons here if I go ahead and press X I will start to climb in altitude and uh, I'm gonna just left shift like that to to escape now you might have noticed that the gauges were moving as well and in order to create some of these gauges there's two different versions of the gauges they basically do the exact same thing and they don't really add much more functionality above what you're already doing other than just sort of giving you uh, your direction and your speed but to create this uh, more basic looking one you take glass panes iron ingots a piece of redstone dust and some gold ingots and you're gonna get this measurement gauge here and uh, the only really difference between these two designs is that this uh, little spot down here is a little bit different um, actually the bottom row is, is different than uh, than that one on the left but if you want to get this guy right here it's just gonna be uh, the same pattern as before but the two empty corners are gonna be replaced with glass panes actually to get those on to the top of this uh, this uh, ship marker, it just hold shift and then uh, right click and that's gonna place those on the top there and then you'll be able to use them. All right, now the next thing you need to make is called a floater block and these aren't actually essential to creating a uh, Archimedes ship, but they are very, very useful if you're gonna be uh, building a, a boat on the water and it's created by using wool and wood and it's going to give you a floater here. Now, as you can see what I did over here on this boat, um, I have totally made the bottom of my boat with these floater blocks and that's gonna keep it afloat uh, It says here on the wiki. It says it is a sit It is simply a very lightweight block that gives ships the ability to float higher and not sinking too deep The more floaters you include in your ship the higher it will be on the water. So there you go That's the floater and moving on to the next thing here. We have the air balloons and these are mega easy to create as well uh, you can do them in every single color I just did white and pink just to show you guys uh, some examples and it's basically used or created using a piece of wool and a piece of string and it's going to give you an air balloon this one is pink and string it's gonna give you pink now it says here on the website the air balloon is is the essential block to build airships as you guys can see I would not be able to build this airship without the air balloons 40% uh, of the blocks on a ship should be on a balloon in order to give the ship the ability to fly This percentage is adjustable in the config file so you can adjust that you want to just have like 5% 10% 100% uh, Whatever you want to do you can do that But as of right now I have it as the default 40% and I think that the number of blocks the air balloons I have here takes up over 40% of the full structure of this airship all right So let's say you've built this awesome airship and you're getting really lonely, right? You're, uh, you you want to you just want to have some fun in your airship do a little bit of twerking You know because that's like the popular thing these days if you want to have a passenger seat and have someone ride with you You can totally do that so to make a passenger seat You're just gonna take three pieces of wool like this and that's going to give you a passenger seat very very simple Very easy to use just plop it down in your boat and your buddy can ride with you all right And the last crafting recipe we have today is called a shore buffer and this is created using an ink sack and a floater and It's going to give you this block here Which is called a shore buffer and basically what this does is it's just a simple block that will never attach to ships so you can kind of um, 
use it as like over here if you're gonna be touching the shore I probably should have put some down here um, let me grab some and basically this is a block that is never going to attach to the ships and is gonna keep uh, basically your ship from detaching the land or something like that so anyways now that we've gone through all of the crafting recipes I want to show you guys how these work because I'm sure that's what you've come here for and uh, all you need to do is basically create your your boat so what I've done is I use some floater blocks here because I wanted to make a ship on the water uh, I just decorated a little bit with some torches and some uh, pieces of wood very very simple ship here and uh, let me go ahead and right click this and it, as you can see I'm sort of bobbing in the water now and if you watch the gauges on the front of the uh, the measurement gauge there you can see that one with the speed increasing and the other one is uh, a compass on the top left and that shows directions as you can see I am moving this entire piece this entire like thing that I created the whole all of it all the blocks are within my command and it's really really awesome because you can actually go really really fast we're gonna go into a beta hole here whatever and uh, you can go really really freaking fast and the turning radius leaves something to be desired I will admit um, the turning radius is not the best and you can't actually go over uh, oh wow you can I ran right over those oh awesome before I was testing this out and you, I, my ship was too low in the water but actually if you run over these just break some the freaking lily pads that's freaking cool get out of my way lily pad but uh, yeah as you can see you start to go really really fast uh, which is awesome in terms of covering long distances and you can create huge awesome epic ships uh, and I want to show you guys real fast the uh, the airship over here because the airship doesn't move quite as fast but uh, it's really cool because you have the ability to fly as well which is really neat and uh, all you have to do to dismount is just press the left shift button if I do that uh, it's going to sort of park the ship in uh, in the position close to where you left it um, but uh, yeah that's really freaking cool so I want to go up here and show you guys the airship so I'll show you guys how to control the airship. Basically, it's the same as the as the boat, um, and you just use it as if you were using normal controls. W A S and D. And uh, in order to increase altitude, you're going to hold down the X button. And in, in order to lower your altitude, you're going to hold down the Z button. And as you can see, it should be slowly declining here in altitude. Uh, I'll slow it down here so it's a little bit easier to see. Yes, I am dropping down. As you can see there. Um, I am lowering an altitude which is really freaking cool and uh, because all of these units are attached I am able to move this airship entirely and these actually do go pretty fast I didn't realize that uh, they do go this fast but uh, you can cover quite a bit of distance with these guys but yeah that's gonna about do it for this uh, for this mod review I hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and uh, hit that like button as well and uh, if you have any mods that you want me to check out or anything please be sure to leave me a comment down below as well and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a fun little mod, very basic, very easy to use, very simple, but I like that. I like simple mods that do a whole lot um, and are fun to use. So have a, have a good time creating your, your airships and your boats, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!